What is going on YouTube? Nelson here at One Chair One Mirror. Today I'm going to teach you how to do flat iron curls on short hairstyles. This video was requested by a few of you and I'm really glad that I can help you guys out. Some of you guys are probably thinking, isn't it just the same? Long hair, short hair, if you know how to curl with a straightener, then you know how to curl with a straightener. You guys are not completely wrong, but there's one thing that we have to take into consideration, which is obviously the length. There's one very obvious thing that we actually forget sometimes, is that when you curl or add waves to your hair, the hair length is going to shrink. Which is one of the reasons why a lot of you guys are walking around like Ronald McDonald's. Blood cut. But that's okay because as you can see that he's actually a very popular guy. Let's just assume that you don't want to look like him. How do we avoid that? So for those of you that want to cut your hair short, one thing you gotta consider is whether you're gonna curl it or not. Because I have many many clients that brings in a picture where it's a collarbone length. If it's wavy, I gotta cut it a little bit longer because once you curl it, it's gonna go back up. Of course, an experienced stylist will tell you that themselves, but just to avoid some kind of misunderstanding, it is also good that you also know that yourself. So when it comes to styling short hair, the real question is how do I put the waves in but still maintaining the length as much as possible? That is what I'm gonna show you today. Now I call this technique the point down, pull down technique because that is pretty much what you're doing. What you wanna do is to point your straightener down to the ground, putting the hair through, turning it 180 degree, half a circle, pulling straight down to the ground. By doing that, you're actually creating more of a spiral wave, meaning you're gonna maintain the length as much as possible. Now, because my hair is kind of suitable for this, if I were to show you all my hair, let's just grab a piece that is more straight. There you go. This is what it looked like. Putting it straight down, half a circle, straight down. Wow! Just like that. As you can see that the wave is very, very subtle and that is pretty much what we want. Make sure to pull faster because the longer you hold the flat iron, the curlier it might get. Today I'm gonna be showing you this hair technique on two different hair lengths. One being above the shoulder and one kind of like a long bob just touching the shoulder. Starting with the shorter hair length, because we're trying to go for a more textured look, I'll be taking smaller sections. Now when it comes to positioning of the straightener, make sure to point the straightener perpendicular to the ground. By doing this, you will make the waves a lot less bouncy. This way we can maintain the length as much as possible for your short haircut. Turning your straightener 180 degree or just half a circle. Now the direction that you want to pull your straightener is exactly where it's pointing towards, which is to the ground. Repeating the same steps, pointing the straightener to the ground, turning half a circle, pulling it straight down to the ground. And because the hair at the bottom is a bit shorter, you'll just be making more of a bend into the hair right now. If you haven't noticed, I'm actually alternating the direction of how I turn my straightener for every section, just because I want to achieve more texture into this hairstyle. Repeating the point down pull down technique as you move up the head, you'll be seeing more of a wave as you move up to the longer pieces on top. As you move to the side, the point down pull down technique will stay the same. However for myself, the hair that are closer to the front, I would like them to be turned away from the face instead of the other way around. But other than that, you'll just be doing the point down pull down technique all the way up. When you're done curling the whole head, I like to pick out individual pieces and hairspray them. That way you can really see where the waves are going. And 
this is what the finished product looks like. Now dealing with a hairstyle like the length of a long bob, you pretty much use the same point down pull down technique with just a slight change. Instead of putting it straight down, I'm pulling it slightly diagonally towards myself. Just because we're working with a little bit more length this time, I feel that like I can afford to add a slight bounce to it. Again, having the pieces in the front to go away from the face, pointing down, pulling diagonally down. For a more loose and natural look, don't be afraid to run your hands through it. And there you have it, the same technique on two different short hairstyles. And that's it for today, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions, please comment right below. You can also follow my Instagram or my other channel. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time.